Recently, we have worked on integrating Ember Plus support in Skyhoy controllers, and we have exciting news. We have uh, a GPIO box here, which is um, hooked up with VSM Studio, so you can manipulate internal registers in it. And from there, we'll just go forward and implement access to a lot of cool features in Skyhoy controllers, so you can easily integrate them with your broadcast management software. So, um, Basically, what we have inside a Skaho controller is some registers, like uh, what we call flags. And a flag can usually um, be seen working with a, a tally light or transporting a binary value from one place in the controller to another one. We also have memory banks. We usually use them for selecting a camera. For instance, on the RCP, we use memory banks to select which camera an RCP addresses on the output. We also have shift registers and states in the controller, which are typically used to uh, change the whole functionality of the controller by uh, creating menus and, and so forth. So in this video, we have hooked up a simple GPIO box to just show you what is the, the, the most um, easily conceivable example of integrating with Ember Plus. So over here, we have the uh, VSM uh, Studio. And uh, I can bring up the device tree in VSM Studio. And you will see uh, here we have the IP address of the Skahoy controller. If I extend this, uh, you see memory banks, shift registers, state registers, and system flags. And that's only the beginning, as I said. So we can see here for some system flags, uh, they are all false at the moment. Uh, if we look at state registers, we, um, we see these are also zero. And that's not the focus of this video. But if we go to system flex, we will um, be able to demonstrate how this is hooked up with the GPIO box. So the GPIO box has on its output eight LEDs. These will light up when the relay output from the GPIO box um, is shorted. And it's hooked up with a power supply, so we get some lights on the LEDs. And now we need to also take a look at the configuration of the GPIO box, because to understand the connection over to VSM Studio, we have to associate the outputs of the GPIO box with the flags we are manipulating, okay? So if we take output number one on the screen, you see for the configuration here, output number one will reflect the value of feedback flag number zero, okay? Output number two, that's feedback flag one, output number three, feedback flag two, and so forth, all right? And then if we look over in VSM Studio, you see in VSM Studio, we have flag one or zero, one, two, and so forth. And they have uh, values false, 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 false. Then we have created a panel here. And in this panel, when we click the button, we can see the value change to true. You see it change here. And behold, it also changes on the GPIO box. So if you look here, and that's going to be difficult because this LED is, is yellow. But if I take flag number two, you see the neighboring LED lights up red. I click it now repeatedly and it turns on and off. So you know the relay is flipping inside the GPIO box. So, uh, and of course, I need to prove that we can do this for everything else on the GPIO box. So I think you get it that we have that simple link, a binary value from VSM Studio channeled over into the Skahoy controller, the GPIO box in this case, to flip a relay. So the next thing I would like to show you is how we can use this to manage an RCP.